We make up a memory. That's exactly what the chatbots do, but it's also exactly what people do. Another argument is, well, hallucinations show they don't really understand anything. First of all, they should be called confabulations. They've been studied by psychologists for a long time, and they're very characteristic of people. We think we store files in memory and then retrieve the files from memory, but our memory doesn't work like that at all. We make up a memory when we need it. We construct it. It's a very constructive business. It's not stored anywhere. It's created when we need it. And we'll be very confident about the details that we get wrong. There's a very nice example of that, which is John Dean's memory when he testified at the Watergate trials. He had no idea that there were tapes, but he was trying to tell the truth. And you can see that he's wrong about huge numbers of details. Meeting, he says there were meetings between these people. Those meetings never happened. He says this person said one thing. Actually, it was somebody else said that. But you can also see that the gist of what he said was exactly right. There was a cover-up going on, and those were the kinds of things people said. So what he was doing was he was creating these meetings, creating them in his mind, and what he was creating was what seemed plausible to him. That's exactly what the chatbots do, but it's also exactly what people do.